Stand-up paddleboarding has exploded in the last three years, especially with inflatable stand-up paddleboards. We get questions all the time, what is the best inflatable sup? I'm Justin Taylor. And I'm Allie, and we're two of SUP Board Guide's lead product testers. And today, we're going to be walking you through our top choices of the best inflatable paddle boards for 2022. So let's dive in. Next up on our list is the award for best all-around inflatable paddleboard, and that's gonna to go to the iRocker all-around series. It comes in a 10-foot and an 11-foot option. If you're a shorter person like myself, you're probably gonna like the 10-foot. If you're a little bit taller, you're gonna like the 11-foot. That's really all it comes down to. Personally, as I said, I enjoy the 10-foot. I feel like it's pretty sporty on the water. It's really maneuverable. It's not too heavy. I'm able to get up a decent bit of speed if I want to, but it's also stable enough that I can bring my dog, I can bring gear. This is type, a type of board that I can really do whatever I want to do on it in whatever type of condition. I know that it's gonna handle it just fine. And then of course, there's the finer, finer details, like it has the features, sort of the same as the black fin, minus the Scotty mounts, but still a lot of versatility. iRocker's solid construction, their warranty, it's just a really solid board overall, and it's well deserving of our award for best all around inflatable paddleboard. The best performance inflatable sup for 2022 is the Honu Byron. And to be honest, this is a new board for us this year. And the first time I jumped on and paddled it, all I could say is, wow. It really did surprise me with how, not only how well it performed, but how it felt. It's it's only 4.7 inches thick and what that does is it actually lowers your center of gravity in the water a little bit and so you're more gliding through the water instead of on top of the water and that really gives the honu a very hard like sup feel and so for any of those any of you paddlers who are really looking to advance your paddling and have more of that hard sup feel this is the board that we would absolutely recommend they have two different versions. There's the Byron and then there's the Fairlight. So if you're a larger paddler, you're going to want the Fairlight. It's a little bit longer, a little bit wider. And again, as long as you size it properly, you really are going to enjoy this board. The glide, the feel on the water. It's a very clean, kind of more, you know, natural look to a paddleboard. And it just really is one of my personal favorites. It is, it is actually the other board that I grab when I go out. So I grab the Blackfin Model XL and I grab the Honu because it's just a really great combo and definitely deserving of the best performance up of 2022. The award for best looking sup on our list goes to the Sea Gods Diatom 10.6. It's pretty self-explanatory. This board is gorgeous. And one thing to note about Sea Gods is that they do choose real artists to design each of their boards and they all come with their own type of story. So the Sea Gods Diatom was done by a Russian artist and I hope I get this name right. I'm pretty sure it's Markovka. Um, it's done by that artist. It's modeled after the diatom, which is this little algae organism that you'll find in the ocean. Just a cool little detail that they do. But on top of how it looks, the diatom is a really high performance board in the water. It's a board that I grab if I'm bringing out somebody that's new to the sport. It's super stable. It's something that they'll pop right up on with no problem. It's also a board that I grab if I'm paddling with somebody that's a little bit heavier and still wants an, a sporty, lightweight, all around board. The diatom fits that bill. So while it is the best looking sub on our list, it also has the performance to match and that could stand on its own. The best inflatable paddleboard for families for 2022 goes to the Gilly Mino series. Now in the Mino series, you do have two different options, a 10.6 and 11.6, but both boards are the same. And what that is, is a really well-built, lightweight and high-weight capacity stand-up paddleboard. And all of those things really matter when it comes to families for a couple reasons. Number one, you want a board that's lighter weight if you want your kids to carry it down, right? Like you're already gonna have a ton of gear. It's nice if the kids can pick it up and carry it down. And so this definitely is very helpful with that. Um, in addition, 
you're not sacrificing weight capacity. So with the Mino, I'm able to put two or three of my kids on. You know, if your kids are bigger, I'd go with the 11.6 version, or if you want to paddle it with, with your partner, then again, go with the 11.6. But even on the 10.6, I can actually fit three of my kids and have a lot of fun. And also the kids love the looks on the back. You have a really cool graphic of a manta ray, a shark and a turtle. And honestly, for that fact alone, it makes my daughter loves Gilly. She just loves those graphics. And it just, again, it kind of ties into the whole atmosphere with stand up paddle boarding. And this board is just a perfect example of a board for families where you can get out adventure and have a ton of fun. The Thurso Surf Water Walker Series has gotten the award for the most rigid sup on our list. And what that means is that it bent the least during our bend test. And our bend test, we kind of place the board on top of two sawhorses. We place 150 pounds on top and we just measure how much it bends under that weight. So it's a little bit extreme, but the entire Water Walker series knocked it out of the park and we've yet to have a board that can rival it. What that translates to on the water is just this really nice gliding feeling while you're paddling. It makes it a lot more enjoyable and a lot more relaxing. You kind of feel like you're going a little bit faster than you are and we personally really like it. On top of that, it's pretty maneuverable as well. Just really good performance in general. It has a good amount of features too. It has some Velcro paddle holders, a nice big front cargo area, some kayak seat attachments. There's a lot to like about it on top of the stiffness and we were happy to place it on this list. If you're enjoying this video so far, make sure to like and follow as we'll continue to put out reviews, we'll continue to put out best lists and we really appreciate your support. All right, so next on the list is the best all around paddleboard for fishing. And that award goes to the Boat HD series. Now the Boat HD, we really like for this category for two reasons. Number one, it's a really good all around paddleboard. It has a lot, it has a very high weight capacity, paddles really well, really good construction. As you can see, there's tons of features on this board. So by itself, it's a great all around paddleboard. In addition though, they have added some, ex some mounts and accessories specifically for fishing. So that's why we have awarded it with the best paddleboard for fishing. So with that, main things. First, these rack receivers. These rack receivers are where you can, you can add the fishing rod holder or the fishing rack. They have the D-rings here where you can attach their cooler. They call it the Kula and it's kind of a rounded cooler that just is really great to sit on. Again, while you're fishing, store drinks or whatever you want. And then up front, they have their paddle sheath. And so that's just a holder for your, for your paddle. So if you're gonna paddle out to whatever section of the lake or the river that you wanna fish from, you can just store your paddle right there, cast off to the sides, sit on the cooler, you just have a really nice, enjoyable fishing adventure without having to take out a massive kayak or all of those things. And then when you're done, if you wanna paddle around, this still does a great job. So again, really good all around board, but also great fishing board and well deserving of the award for best all around fishing sup. Next on our list is the award for best adventure sup and that's gonna to go to the Atoll 11. Mainly being because this board is so light, it's only about 21 pounds, so just to throw it on your back, hike it into a lake that's a little bit more remote, a little bit further off is no big deal. It's just super backpacker friendly. It's catering a lot to just people that love the outdoors and they like to get out a little bit further. On top of that, the Atoll is kind of just like a jack of all trades all around. It's stable, but it's also responsive if you're a little bit more advanced just nice to paddle and we really like the front cargo area but we like that you have the options to bring along a lot more gear with all of the extra deerings that they put on there they kind of just left it up to you but it can handle almost anything you throw at it and that's why we really like the atoll 11 and we think it's among the most backpacker friendly subs on this list the best value stand-up paddleboard for 2022 award goes to the Bluefin Cruise. Now this is a paddleboard that A, is very well constructed. You get a lot of good features with it, really good stability and good performance. But in addition to that, you get a ton of things with the kit. So you get the board, you get the paddle, you get the pump, you get all of those things that normally come, but they also add on to that 
the kayak seat. And so that just ties into these D-rings and just makes this a little more of a bang for your buck kind of value. Um, you know, and really just makes this board a really good board for beginners, for people that want to get into stand-up paddle boarding, don't want to break the bank, but still want something very feature rich. You know, they have a really nice deck pad, nice kick pad here, good D-rings, bungees for your stuff, uh, the action mount up front, and again, just everything that you need to get out on the water and more, all in a really good price. The Nixie Newport wins the award for the best sup for smaller paddlers. And that's because whenever we take a big group of people to the lake, we always find that smaller paddlers that prefer something a little bit more sporty are always reaching for the Newport, myself included. It's just really fun, it's really maneuverable, and it's super lightweight. And it just makes your experience so much better, especially if you are a little bit smaller and you don't need something super heavy. On top of that, the Newport is also really well constructed and it's really stiff. It gives you a really good glide while you're paddling. It just makes everything a lot more comfortable. This is a company that is made for paddlers, by paddlers. So Nixie essentially builds a board that they would like to use and that's what you get out of it. The Newport, any other stuff in their lineup, it just fits and you can definitely tell that it is made for a paddler. You can see that in some of the finer details as well. They've added removable bungees, front and rear grab handles, this really nice padded center carry handle, some extra D-rings, extra action mounts, anything that you need they've put on this board without making it feel too cluttered or not quite as natural. You can just tell that there is a lot of attention to detail put into this SUP and it works fantastically for smaller paddlers specifically, which is why it is on our list. Next on the list is the award for the most advanced performance sup, and that goes to the Red Paddleco Sport Series. Now, what I mean by advanced is technologically advanced. Red Paddleco is known for really pushing the limits, adding new technology in the inflatable stand-up paddleboard industry, and we love Red for that. And that's very true with the sport. Now, Quick note, this sport is an older model that we have. The new model that comes with all some of the new tech and features, we actually had to send back to Red Paddle Co. Made us very sad, but we do what we can do. Um, so with the sport and why it's so advanced, first and foremost, it, it brings on their RSS batten system, which just the fiberglass rods that you insert into the side, that patented system for Red Paddle Co. really stiffens up the board and just really adds to the performance. Um, next, they added the speed tail. Now the speed tail, it sounds, I mean, it's just basically a small piece of plastic on the tail, and it sounds like it's very basic and very simple, but in reality, what that does is as you're paddling, the water, as you glide over it, sometimes will, what it will do, it'll reach over and kind of grab the tail, and by adding that little piece of plastic, the speed tail, the water just releases, and so, for more advanced intermediate type paddlers, that is something you really feel. And so when I paddle the sport, when Ali paddles the sport, just the glide and the speed is just outstanding. And really Red has done a fantastic job bringing all that tech, but it's not unneeded or unnecessary tech just to be cool. It really is paddler focused and does enhance your experience out on the water, which is why we've awarded the Red Paddle Sport with the most advanced performance up for 2022. The newly launched iRocker Cruiser Ultra is going to win the award for the best compact sub on this list. And that's a really simple answer. It is the most comfortable compact paddleboard that we've tested to date. The bag just seems to fit really nice. It's something that you wouldn't mind going on a longer trip with if you were gonna hike in somewhere. It just feels a lot better than any of the other compact boards we've tested. On top of that, the performance is great. You don't lose anything in stiffness, even though they are super light. We love that you can fold it in half, but the deck pad is still super comfortable. In all, they've just taken a lot of the stuff that we love from iRocker's standard line and just made it into something that's super compact, super light, just really traveler friendly. 
and it comes with an electric pump for a really great price. So it's just so hard to beat in this space right now. And we think they've set a whole new standard in the compact board market. If you've made it this far into the video, thank you so much for watching. We realized we threw a lot of information at you, but if you're looking for the specifics on a certain board, please head down to the description where you'll find a link to in-depth written reviews. And after you've gone through that, if you still have any kind of questions, please leave those down in the comments below. We really want to be helpful because there really is a lot of different choices when you're buying a paddleboard and we just want to help as best as we can. Not everyone gets to paddle as many boards as we do in a year. So again, if it has been helpful, please give us a thumbs up, give us a like and follow our channel. Ali and I are going to be creating a lot more sub content. So that's going to be individual board reviews, best lists, and then also just general how to's. Um, and our goal with that is just to really help out the paddling community. So until next time, happy paddling. We'll see you on the water.